Hey budget fam, it's Jordan from Jordan Budgets. Today we are cash stuffing. We are cash stuffing $818 into our bills binder, as well as our variable spending and our self-care and homeschool binder. The majority of this money will be going into the bills binder, but before we get started, let's go ahead and count the money, make sure we have what we think we have. 50, 100, 50, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 620, 40, 60, 80, 700, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 800, 810, 815, 16, 17, 18. So we have 800. And $18. How are you guys doing on this wonderful Monday? It is Valentine's Day, so if you are watching this video on the day that it uploaded, happy Valentine's Day. I hope you have something fun planned for yourself or with your significant other if you have one. I am as single as they come, but my Valentine's Day has been wonderful so far. I got the boys little gifts this morning, and before my five-year-old even realized, he knew that it is a gifting holiday, and I will tell you guys, even at five years old, I can tell his, um, what's the word? Love language. His love language is gifts. He loves getting gifts. He loves giving gifts. He's just all about it. So he woke up and grabbed some markers and ran straight to the sofa and started coloring me a little present for Valentine's Day, which was the sweetest, the best gift. These 20s are, I can just accept now. They are not gonna lay flat, flat for us. Uh, he was just the cutest and he went, oh, let me go get the picture he drew. I'm very proud that he is now drawing. This is very new for him to draw anything. So I was so, so thankful for him to make this for me. But this is me, clearly. This is him and he is giving me his stuffed animal. It's his favorite stuffed animal. The stuffed animal's name is Hot Fudge. So he named his stuffed animal cat Hot Fudge just so he could take him to show and tell. And the show and tell letter of the week was H. So he named him Hot Fudge just so he could take him to show his class. That is his favorite stuffed animal. So I feel beyond honored that he one drew me a picture and that he drew me a picture getting hot fudge. So I hope you also have someone in your life that has just made your day. But if nobody has said it yet, happy Valentine's Day. I'm wishing you the most sincere, happiest of days. And I hope that you do something special for yourself if nobody else is doing it. We are gonna start with the bills binder and the majority of our money will be going to bills. We're gonna put $570 into this bills binder starting with preschool. So preschool is going to get $100, 50, 100. My boys preschool is $410 every single month, 50, 150, 250, $300 now for preschool. I will be doing a binder rearrange the middle of this week. So guys, keep an eye out for that if you're interested. I will be adding a couple of things that are not in here, as well as shifting around some binders. I mentioned last week that I will be putting more money into the bills binder because I'm trying to prep for my move to Nashville. Mother's Helper is going to get $50 today. I spend $50 every week for Mother's Helper. 50, 150, 200, $205. I kind of put together my budget for Nashville last week. In addition to behind the scenes, I was going through my business budget and really getting that in order. And electric is gonna get 50. And let me just tell you guys, I picked the worst time to really try to start putting more money into bills. The end of January and the start of February have been the absolute slowest time in my Etsy shop and on YouTube. So my money has been so slow, you will see next week. Electric, we added 50, so we have 50 and 70 in electric. I, the way my money pans out, you will see starting next week, just that I have a lower amount of money than I have been having, and that is just because the shop has been so slow. But it makes sense that things would slow down for a budget channel and budgeting materials with the start of a new year, right? Because the end of the year, everybody's getting their budgets together. So gymnastics, we added 40, we have 20, 40, 60, 80. So I am saying that to say that you guys might notice I'm not stuffing the full amount of what my goal was last week and next week is likely going to be even lower. I'm doing the best that I can in preparation for that move, but I don't realistically expect myself to be making enough to stuff those bills. So that's something I clearly have to work on before I move to make sure I have the income that I'm gonna need to live 
in a in an area that has a much higher cost of living than where I'm currently at, right? So internet, we had 20, we added 20, we now have 40. Gym and pool, I pay $50 a month just for my oldest son who is homeschooled to have an indoor pool to go towards. Gym and pool, we are gonna add $10, we now have 30. Renter's insurance, we're not gonna add anything. Allowance, we're not gonna add anything. One month ahead, this is sort of what we talked a lot about last week with getting ready for bills and paying the cost of what it would be if we were in Nashville already, right? So we're gonna add $300 to one month ahead, 50, 100, 50, 200, 50, 300 dollars to one month ahead. So we will add that. Let's color in 300, do we have three? We'll color in these three different 100 spots. So I, so I'm not too worried about the income and things, but I will say this is the lowest month that I've had since I started YouTube and Etsy several months ago. So if you guys are on YouTube and Etsy, can you relate? Has it been slow for you or have things been picking up? I will say too that I haven't had really a big release. I will be having a release of stuff later in the month, but for the last couple of months, I think I got really busy working on orders around Christmas and in December because there were a lot of orders. So I, I wasn't working on new products and things. So I think that has definitely affected my shop. I am working on some things that are releasing at the end of the month, so we will th see if things pick up as I release new stuff. So for one month ahead, we do have $500 in the bank. That is what this $500 placeholder represents. So whenever I go to my savings account, I don't just see a large sum of money. I know that all of that money in the savings account has a purpose. So $500 towards one month ahead, 600, 700, 800, 900, $1,000 to one month ahead, 20, 40, 60, 80. So $1,080 towards one month ahead. Ideally, before I move, I am able to save around $3,000 towards bills every single month, and that will give me a little bit of a cushion when I move and I have slow months like I'm having right now. So that is it for the bills binder which is the majority of that money. We do have $248 going into variable expenses, self-care and homeschooling. The majority of that money is going into this envelope. This envelope at the end of filming does go into my wallet in my purse, but while I'm filming, I just pulled this one envelope because it's the only cash envelope I have right now in my purse. We are adding $120 to groceries these days that does not go very far at all uh gas gas is going to get 30 dollars, which is it pretty much covers me every single week and then fast food we're going to add 20. that is less than i normally spend i normally would spend 30 and then honestly i had been pulling a little bit of money from the bank here and there but i am only trying to spend 20 dollars, like a genuine 20 dollars every single week because i'm doing a no spend month this month and while $20 on fast food is clearly still spending money I know that realistically with our busy schedules there's just one day in particular that we always get fast food and it would really throw my routine off if I didn't have that so realistically for this no spend I am allowed to spend $20 a week in fast food I'm also allowed to spend any gift cards that we just happen to have like we happen to have a couple gift cards to Chuck E. Cheese and we happen to have a couple gift cards for for Dunkin Donuts we have a couple cards for Dunkin Donuts as well I think that's it so we're allowed to spend those and we're allowed to spend anything that was in the envelopes previous to starting this so like we want to go to the movies this month we can go to the movies um, we don't have any money pretty much anywhere else. I did spend some money on Etsy recently. I spent 40 or 50 because I got some tumblers for me and the kids. And then what else? I think that's it. And there's a little bit of beauty money left. And if you are new here, all of these self-care categories, I do stuff using tips money that you guys give me over on Etsy. I had to think about it for a minute, over on Etsy. So there's a tip spot for me over in my Etsy shop. So thank you to everybody that tipped this week. This week, Nancy tipped and Rosa and Sonia. Thank you, Amanda and Patricia and Jennifer. Thank you, Kendall, and thank you, Whitney. Whitney, that was a large amount, so thank you so much. Total, I received $38 in tips. 
and because we are not stuffing any tips into our like spendy categories all the tip monies for this month during the no spend are going towards the 100 envelope savings challenge so this is to help me get a down payment for a car at the end of the year and if our car is still working just fine this will get stashed away into a savings account towards a down payment for a house or a start of a down payment for a house so at the end of this 100 envelope savings challenge i will have about five thousand dollars so thank you so much to all of you who tipped this week because that makes a huge difference in my life i really really appreciate it and so thanks to you guys we get to color in this 38 spot i will say when i do my binder rearrange in a couple of days i am going to be getting rid of a lot of these self-care categories i think i'm going to go back to just having like an etsy envelope and a self-care envelope and then the 100 envelope savings challenge so just three categories but we'll figure out the details of all of that later in the week but it feels less confusing than having a lot of different categories i tried it out i'm not as crazy about having so many categories for self-care so we will see what we end up doing later this week so we have 200 dollars in the savings account 20 40 60 80 300 310 20 25 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 so 336 dollars towards this 100 envelope savings challenge we're only gonna stuff one more category. The rest of these are all for homeschooling categories. Again, these will be condensed and some of these will be moved into the bills spot now that I know exactly how much I need for different things and I've really figured out a lot about homeschooling these last few months as I've been thrown into it. So we are adding the last $40. We now have 50, 70, 90, 110 going towards curriculum. And I've already picked out all of the curriculum for both boys next year. And it's going to be about $350 to $400 to get all of their homeschooling books and curriculum. So we will keep adding to that. Oh, I forgot to mention earlier in the video, but this is a giveaway video. So if you have not yet commented and subscribed, please go ahead and do that. All you need to do to be entered to this giveaway is you need to be a subscriber and you need to leave a comment on this particular video. Whenever you leave a comment on that video, that is going to be your entry ticket into the giveaway. The giveaway is to celebrate hitting 16,000 subscribers. So thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you who have subscribed, all of you who have been on this ride with me. I appreciate you guys so so much and this is just a way to give back to some of you as an appreciation and a thank you i usually have three giveaway winners so go ahead and leave a comment so you get your entry ticket into the giveaway and keep an eye out on friday's video because that is when i will be announcing the giveaway winners of course when we hit 17,000 subscribers we will do another giveaway just the same way so keep an eye out for any future giveaway videos you see as well. As always, thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you, I love you, I hope you have a fantastic Valentine's Day, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.